Hey, what's up? This is Sane, and I'm doing a Let's Play walkthrough of this game. Still in Ultra Hard mode, we're doing Horizon Zero Dawn The Frozen Wilds, and I've completed Ultra Hard as you can see right there. But I think the hardest achievement in the game was the Blazing Suns. Now, if you did watch my live stream, I was raging pretty hard. Harder probably did harder than I probably shouldn't have, have because it was just it's not good for your health to rage that hard and uh, it's bad so don't follow my example just you can watch it for entertainment purposes and if it pisses you off well oh well the game was pretty frustrating the core gameplay mechanics were actually not that good and that's the terrible thing about making gigantic open world games that's usually the problem but Horizon Zero Dawn is a good 6 out of 10 from me. It's a pretty good game still. Slightly above average. The graphics and everything is good. Uh, the Frozen Wilds DLC is great. I bought this game half a year ago for like $30 on specials. So it was pretty good. So let's start, go start right into it. It's a really, really good game. Uh, despite the glitches and the things that happened on my ultra hard playthrough, that's going to be my last live stream for a while. The next game I'm going to live stream is Resident Evil 2 on PlayStation, uh, and I think that's about it, really. I'm just going to do the Frozen Lands since my Xbox broke. Uh, this is what I'm going to do. Obviously, I'm going to try to get my Xbox One back. Let's see what I can do. So 104 hours plus the new game plus on ultra hard mode all the way. The hardest enemy in the game was definitely Hades. I wasted almost all my ammo. I'm not using the same file where I wasted my ammo on Hades. This is uh, before the Hades battle because for those who never got to the final battle, once you beat the game, it reloads back to the previous save file again. Which is dumb. You can't just beat it like other games. You can just keep replaying the last mission over and over again. There's no replayability unless you restart the game. Uh, I actually, uh, the reason I was raging so hard on that one canister challenge is because I was playing on ultra hard mode and the game didn't switch to difficulty even though I switched to another save profile. Which is kind of terrible mechanics about this game. That that should not be there. It just should auto-correct itself. I beat this game first time around on easy. And uh, then I beat it on ultra hard. I didn't... F Obviously ultra hard is harder, but uh, easy was still pretty hard. Then I switched it to story mode. Oh my goodness, story mode is easy. Story mode is too easy. The, the terrible thing about ultra hard mode is enemy health bars are not visible. And then there's and there's also going to be like this uh, this new leveling system even though you reach level 60. It's like I'm doing level 62 or 2 prestige mode. Yeah, so, uh, well, I'm not going to do it here. There's obviously... I'm only going to focus on the Frozen Wild story. And I am playing on Ultra Hard mode, so you can see I can change the difficulty. You see? Alright. So we are going to be fighting a bunch of frost stuff, so might as well get a bunch of fire ready here. And this is actually a very good weapon, but if I blast this weapon too hard, I can actually kill myself. So yeah. So we're gonna try to scan some enemies and go from here. So this is not a live stream, this is a let's play because I wanted to show all that stuff off. I'm not one of those gamers or one of those guys that just record clickbait. Because that's just considered lying. And it's not tolerable. So we're gonna do the Frozen Wilds. Uh, it's New Game Plus. So I'm gonna have a lot of stuff already. At the beginning. You don't look like you know this path, Hunter. I actually do. I've been here before on easy mode. This 
seems you're a long way from anything. Where does this trail lead? For me, it leads south. Away from the Banuk. Past the Grave Horde. Banukai, watch over me. This is the quickest way out of the cut, instead of going all the way through Osaram territory. And take it from me. You want a quick way out of the cut. I haven't even arrived yet. Why would I want to leave? Strange machine attacks? A curse on the mountain? It's enough to make me look forward to Meridian. You're going to Meridian? Yes. I was named an envoy to the Karja King's court. No one else wanted to do it. It's not so bad. I just recount the songs from Ban Or, and the Karja draw their funny little glyphs. I tell them of the machine's growing anger, and the Karja King still offers aid, even though he knows the Banuk will not accept it. What kind of strange machines? And what kind of curse? Machines tougher and crazier than anything in the south, I heard. And smoke comes off the mountain like a funeral pyre all day and night. But like I said, I just pass through now. What sort of place is the cut? It's on the edge of everywhere. The edge of Ban Or, the edge of the mountains, the edge of other tribes' territories. It's suffered in the war with the Karja. But it suffered before that, too. Life there is a test to survive out on the edge. Not exactly homey. I can see why you'd want to move on. <laughs> Home is what you carry in a roll on your back. Well, thanks for the warning. I'm curious about these machines, though. And the warning rolled off you. I understand you adventurers are all alike. Good luck. All right, um... What are you doing, Eloy? This path leads to the cut. The Banuk have nothing to offer besides useless mysticism. The Eclipse won't stand idle while you waste time playing in the snow. Return to your task. Surprised you're still checking up on me. I thought you had moved on. Well, forgive me for still being concerned with the fate of the world. I was thinking. Rost used to tell me stories about the Banuk and their shamans, and how they thread blue cables through their skin. Kind of like someone else we know, huh? So maybe the real reason you want me to stay clear of the Banuk is to stay clear of your past. It's not the past that concerns me, Eloy. It's the future, or possible lack thereof. Which is why you should stop prattling and get back to what matters. But as usual, you'll do as you wish. Hmm. Touchy. Hmm. Well, so we already know all about Silence. He's actually my favorite character. He reminds me of Morpheus from the Matrix. Could be the same voice actor, I'm not sure. There are really crazy machines here, and I'm probably going to rage. I'm going to keep from raging. Uh, there are really crazy, crazy machines here. And there's also the control towers. Oh, you have no idea. This is actually my favorite place in the game. I made a trials map about this place. One distinct area, oh my god. Oh no. I think... This one's a new predator. I can see the heat coming off it. So this one is, uh... Weakness is Ice Rail.
I'm just gonna sneak past him. I don't want to deal with this thing right now. Welcome, I guess. You sure you'll be warm enough up here, Nora? I've worked up a sweat from the climb. Sweat freezes. You made it to the cut, Outlander. Not that you'll stay long. Smoke rising from the mountain. From the village, too. What's it for? The smoke from the mountain is worse today. Bad omen. Trust Aurea, they say. She'll return to us, they say. And yet here we are, waiting. Who knows better how to lead than our talk? Must be something big going on. Most of the village is moving towards that smoke. How are we to trust the chieftain after so many died under his command? How long will Aurea stay in retreat out in the wild? to meet you at any moment. Trust that our hunters knew this. Get ready for a rare sight, Nora. Bergrind, purveyor of necessities. Most of the time, the Banuk burned their dead. But not today. Because the bodies couldn't be recovered. Aye, a nasty business. All their best warriors lost. So they're getting a different kind of send-off.
Grasp your grief, my hunters, and kill it! For our kin seize the fate all Banuk long for. Falling with their spears striking steel. Their struggle is over now. You have witnessed their spirits rise up into the blue sky and beyond to the blue light. But our struggle is only beginning. Soon, we will again take up the hunt against the daemon that frenzies the machines against us. And so I ask you, can you summon the courage of our fallen kin? Will you fight and die as well as they did? My courage, my spear. Our blood is in your teeth, Oratok. We are Banuk. Our enemies are prey. The daemon. That frenzies the machines. Machines that wiped out their best. And what do they want to do? Go back up there. Fools. A little advice. Uh, for free. Uh... Aloy. Aloy. I've been up here for two long winters, and I still can't make sense of the Banuk. Take this ruckus. It started with one of their shamans, uh, Orea, spouting on about spirits and daemons up on Thunder's drum. So they march their Warwick up there, and half of them get slaughtered by machines. When Orea vanished, I thought the crazy might have gone with her, but no. Here's Big Aritok, gearing them up to do it all over again. What is it about the Banuk you can't make sense of? Mm. Well, everything's a test to them. A hardship to endure. A challenge to survive. Seems like they don't have much of a choice in a place like this. Yeah. A land cold enough to crack teeth. Filled with wild animals. You think they'd accept a little reasonably priced aid? Well, believe me, I've tried to convince them. But a Banuk with nothing left to prove might just lie down and die. Have you ever heard of a man named Silence? Tall, deadly serious, cables in his skin? Like a shaman? Hmm. I've heard that name once or twice, but always whispered. Like some boogeyman the Banuk want to forget. I'm not sure what went down, but I got the impression he messed with the Conclave. Or they messed with him. Conclave? All the most important shamans gather in Banur from time to time to keep up with the latest mumbo-jumbo. No idea how they all fit into one tent without those crazy headdresses getting locked up on each other. Aurea's been to that shindig, but when I asked her what it's like, she just gave me a dirty look. So if you want to know more, you'll have to find her and make her like you, I guess. <laughs> Good luck. And Aurea is the one who spoke about this daemon? That's right. Told Aratok and the others that it lives up on Thunder's drum, and they believed him. But you don't. <laughs> Look, I don't know what Aurea found up there. A shaman's not going to talk to an outlander. The machines in the cut are getting more vicious, that's a fact. It could be because of the daemon, or it could be because they all got indigestion, for all I know. But Aurea's not around to explain. She took off, and no one knows why. Is Aratok a renowned warrior around here? He's a Warwick chieftain. His voice carries a lot of respect. Not that you hear much of it. Man talks about as much as a dead fish. But when he and Aurea came to town with their Warwick, it drew more Banuk to this little burg than I'd ever seen. Know what else I saw, Aloy? My own little trade boot, stretching all the way back to the claim. Then he goes and leads them off to their death at the claws of angry machines. Uh, so much for my best customers. What are these Warricks about, Burgrind? Some sort of tribe within the tribe? Eh, not like our clans back home. You don't get born into these things. They hold tryouts. Prove your best at something and you might get a place. 
Somewhere it's come and go. Some last as long as metal. The whole Banuk territory, Banur, is just a bunch of the biggest, oldest wearings. I'm not sure if I'm less confused or more confused. <laughs> well, here's the sure thing. Each Warwick has a chieftain and a shaman. They make the decisions. All well and good, except the chieftains are hard-headed. The shamans have their heads in the clouds. Sounds like they're bad. You said you've lived out here for two winters? Aye. Back home, some fur traders told me about this steel-forsaken heap of tents. Good location. Ripe for change. We were barely scraping by until this place started filling up for Araya. A great prophet is coming, they said. Oh, I heard prophet. Honest mistake. Not that the Banook are stingy, they just prefer to keep trade among themselves. We could get through to enough of them. We could really put this place on the map. Or at least on a map. We? Me and my daughter. Mm, my assistant, Varja. My assistant and my daughter. We seem to get along better as business partners. Her mother wanted me to show her a trade. She started tinkering with weapons. Say, when you need a break from this Banuke carry-on, stop in and see her. You're both, uh, mm, how do I put it? Uh, Women? No, 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 I independent. Look for her at Long Notch, the easternmost Banuke camp. I want to know more about this Daemon. Mm -mm. It's crazy talk, Aloy. Or there's something to it. Something connected to how the machines behave. Then you need to find Aurea. She was last seen headed for the mountains they call the Ice Rests. I've heard only the shamans know the trail beyond those frozen peaks. Mm. But I do know where you could find her apprentice, Naltuk. He went north of the river, chasing rumors. Rumors? Not the good kind. Sudden attacks in the snow. Strange new structures. Some say a new machine, like no one's seen before. Oh no, I'm definitely interested. Thanks for the talk, Burgrund. Don't mention it. I wonder Come if our talk could tell me more about Trust the Kuli's instincts. I've never known one of her paintings to disappoint. Ah, I do not hey. want to hear this talk from you again. Doubt is heavier than a week's snow. Forgive me, my chieftain. We will be ready for the next attempt. But this will not be an attempt. It must be done. Do you understand? My chieftain. Good. Outlander, I suppose you wish to speak? You're set on going back to the mountain? I have put my word to it. Even with the risks being so great? The risk of what? Death? It would be a worse fate to bow our heads to the challenge and say too much. Did your Warwick come from this place? No, we rallied most of our hunters from across Banur to face the threat of the demon. But I was born here and stayed to fight the Karja when others retreated into the mountains. A few of my old warriors remain with me, those who survived. This daemon you talked about. If you are hardy enough, you can venture out and see the signs yourself. It has changed the machines, made them fiercer, stronger. But what is it? A matter for the shamans to debate. Orea knows about this daemon. Where would I talk to her? She does a shaman's work. That is not for the eyes and ears of others. Certainly not in Outlanders. There are other Werax in Song's Edge, too? Yes. The village has its own life for all Banuk who need trade or shelter. After the war ended, it sprang up from what was once a campsite, quick as the bloom between frosts. Perhaps it will last till the Karja seek war again. 
Well, I guess that's it then. Good. I prefer deeds to words. Right. I guess he is hard ahead of. I'd march over to Stone Yield and take on those bandits myself if their leader didn't have that fiery cannon. Okay, if I want to learn more about how this daemon affects the machines, I've got to find Maria. And to do that, I need to talk to her apprentice, who followed the river north. I'm not sure if I'm going to go for the tall neck, but we'll see. Bergren said Araya's apprentice went north of the river. Hopefully not too far. That must be Naltuk, looking out at that tower. It looks like it's sending out a pulse or signal. Naltuk? Who are you? How did you find me? Bergrind told me you'd be out here. He's persistent. I've told that Asaram a thousand times. I don't need to buy anything. And I'm not selling. I just need to find Araya. Well, you won't. She's gone where only shamans can tread. She seeks guidance from the voice in the blue light. That is her task. And the task she gave me is to observe the daemon's work. To stop it spreading, if I can. But what can I do about these towers? In only a few weeks, they've sprouted throughout the cut. The daemon's energy pulses from them, rallies the machines, even repairs them. Aratok said this daemon was frenzying machines. Look there, those with the purple markings, they belong to the daemon. They're stronger, more dangerous. I've seen something like this before. A corruption. But it wasn't from your daemon. You have? Well, then you know more than I do. These towers, were they part of your corruption? No. Those are new to me, too. Like I said, they empower the daemon's machines. They must be stopped. Will you tell me where Aurea went? You ask a lot of questions. Only when I'm not getting the answers I need. There's but one voice Aurea wants to hear right now, and it isn't yours. I'm sorry. All right. You want to stop the spread of the Daemon's work? I know how to get started. With my bow and spear. Outlander, wait. Won't you tell me your name? Aloy. Good. If you fall to the Daemon's machines, at least I can properly recount your efforts to Aurea. Thanks for the vote of confidence. But I won't fall. And when I'm done, you're gonna tell me where she is. Interesting. I can kill the machines. What about the tower? Destroy it. Okay, this tower sucks ass.
pulse gives them energy. Repairs them. You're gonna piss me off, aren't you? I die? How did I die? I was at full health. Oh my goodness, how bad is that? Don't tell me I have to do that stupid tower again. In fact, I do, this game sucks. Okay, I don't. Or do I? I do. Wow, this game sucks. Never mind. No checkpoints. This fucking game sucks, dude. I'm trying to select my fucking health packs. My goodness, the fucking game, dude. Wow. Can I just... My god. It's bad. Animations are horrible in this- Dude, I don't want to do that! What is going on with this game, dude? Like, I want to do that the whole time and the game doesn't want to respawn. Wow. Thanks, game. Awesome. How do you teleport across the map? Why does it take fucking forever to do one move? That's what I don't understand about, dude. This is literally what I don't understand about. Where I fucking do one move and it takes a million hours for it to register. And that's why I can't give this game any higher than a 6. 
out of 10. Because the gameplay is awful. It gives you no fucking leeway, and there's these... You have to wait for the animation transitions to stop. That's not what good gameplay is. Good gameplay is... Optimization, and... You have to fucking plan your attacks and everything, but that's not what this game's about. This game's just about all luck-based stuff. So they woke up. Oh, well, you're just an idiot. Wow, you're amazing. How the fuck did you almost die from that? I think I'll start liking this playthrough. The fact that I wasted so many health items. And here's the bad thing about the game. If you press down on a d-pad to heal, it doesn't register right away, and then you die. It's ridiculous. I just don't like the core mechanics in this game, where you have to wait so fucking long in between animations, but then the enemies can cancel their animations, and they can instantly kill you. How was that good gameplay? That's just awful. And then the fact that you clip on every part of the environment and you can't even maneuver, even if you dodge, it doesn't matter. It's just it's just stupid. That's my opinion. Seems I can take care of the machines and towers. The daemon's next. You claimed its power for yourself somehow. Perhaps Aurea should meet you after all. What she truly seeks is hope. After what I just saw, you could show her that. She's in retreat beyond those mountains, the ice rasps. You'll have to walk the shaman's path to get there. You'll know you've reached the end when you come to a shrine, a great machine covered in blue gleam. Shamans who complete the path take a piece of it as reward. If you make it that far, you should too. You'll have earned it. You said something about blue gleam at the end of the shaman's path? A crystal that builds on the bodies of machines in the oldest ice. We Banuk believe it's the stuff of the blue light, frozen as it escapes their shells. You might be more interested that merchants will trade well for it. Bergen told me you're Aurea's apprentice. In her absence, I serve the chieftain and his Werak as an advisor, a scout, a speaker for the blue light. A lot of responsibilities. I don't know if I can live up to Aurea's example, but I have to try. I owe her that much. She took a chance on me, an aspiring shaman from the edge of the world. No one else would. Were you with Aurea when they attacked the mountain? I wish I had been. Even with all that happened. I'm no warrior, though. So she bid me wait. When Aurea and the Chieftain returned, I saw them argue bitterly. I don't know what about exactly. Then she came to me, gave me my task, and left us. How do I cross this shaman's path? Go to the ice rasps. Then follow the markers through the ice caves and the waterfalls, and make the climb to the shrine. But be careful. The path is meant to be an ordeal, the final trial of a young shaman's training. And I'll find Aurea at the end of it? No. She goes further up, somewhere inside the mountain. 
If you see her, would you tell her... I have faith she will hear the voice again. Okay. Great. All right. I guess I'm off to the ice rasps to find this shaman's path. All right, I guess I'm going to find shaman's path. These mountains must be the ice rasps. The shaman's path begins somewhere up above. Okay then. Oh my goodness, what the hell is this? What kind of bows are these? I've never seen these bows before. zero of this I mean it just has one more I have three I think I'm good Coming up to my favorite part. Oh, I am playing on ultra hard mode. I probably shouldn't be, but I'm only going to tackle the main story. So you're right area, this is the cut. <laughs> so we do have to fight a little boss somewhere here. So be ready for that. Um, This is a man. Uh, 
Oh, uh, I'm very confused. This is my ultra... Hard playlist, right? My new game plus. Ryan? Okay. Why is it giving me the option here? Well, maybe we can... Now I'm very confused. Okay, maybe just save on the... I'm pretty far up. The shaman's path must be around here somewhere. This must be one of the markers Naltuk told me about. Looks like each marker points to another, giving directions. into the cold, creepy ice cave. What's this chime for? To help guide the way with sound? If there's more, maybe my focus can find them. Yep, focus can pick up the chimes. Should help me find my way. Yeah, so this is like a little maze or something. Okay, so you go this way, but I want to get the supply crates. This isn't the way out. Some gear, though. Yeah, so that's what I was going for. So I already memorized the other part. Turn. I know. Getting gear. All right, now it's this way. I don't know how long this playthrough is going to be, but I think I'm going to stop it somewhere, though. If I die too many times, I may not add it in the let's way, I may do some editing. So be wary of the... Uh, that's why I, do, I like to play my let's plays on uh, easier difficulties, so I don't have to do much editing. Another marker. Good. Hmm, what is that? Yeah, but there was something over here. Oh, that's over there. Okay, that way then. Oh, what? Okay. That's... Not good. There's something sleeping in here. Oh, wait a minute.
Looks like I got to go back. A chime. Not sure I saw this fork before. I know, I'm concerned about the beast. Confused actually, we're up. Where? Oh my goodness. <laughs> They're up, so this game has horrible... I don't know. Kind of screwed now because the way out is. Is he? Did he find me? Okay then, I guess I'm screwed. If I have to start the whole cave all over again, then this game is trash. I'm just saying that right now. I'm gonna get past these stalkers. Okay. One way or Excuse another.
Okay, I did it! I died once. Okay. Just pull these things. I don't know who needs that to guide. Yeah, those are stalkers, and those are actually more powerful stalkers. How does this bridge work? Looks like I don't it needs know. to fill up with water before I can cross. Yeah, there's the bridge from my map, you see this? Okay, okay. I climb back up again, or like, what's going on? <laughs> Dude, what is going on with this? Fuck, I hate stupid fucking games that don't work. Wow! You're kidding me right now. Like, I don't understand how she's missing. It's like there's this fucking on rails mechanic that fucking misses. Like, fuck off. I just want to jump. It's so easy to jump on it, but the game diverts me to a different direction. Like, why... Why do you have to divert me a different direction? It's like the game auto-corrects, and it just screws up. That's the one thing I hate about this game. It's just that just the parkour system is garbage. Around the bend we go. Like, damn. Across this one. Hmm. Down, then up. Down it is. There's the way up. Where's the way up again? Oh, okay. I didn't see the ladder. I need to pull the rope to move this thing into position. Okay, the bridge is filling up. How do I get up there? This is actually my favorite part of the game, to tell you the truth, I made a whole map on it on Trials. I don't know why the... It doesn't want to work now. Let's see if it works. Okay, this is like... Supply crate here. Supply crate over there. It's a really nice area. I love this area. It's one of the best areas in the game.
Yeah, I cheated it. How do I get over the... How do I get over there? There's an area up there, I don't know how to get up there. Normally you could see the mountain from this peak. But now you can't, it's just too snowy. This is how over there where I'm from, Canada, it's like this. So that's a frost claw, by the way. And I don't like them. Also made this on trials. Oh, you don't slide? Oh, okay. There should have been a no friction setting there. Now let's pull this thing. I like pulling these things. These were my checkpoints on the trials map. Alright, so I'm gonna call it a let's play. Not here, but up there. When we get to Araya, there's like, gonna be a bunch of puzzles and stuff. And we're gonna see where it guides us and we might call it Let's Play up there. And that's actually my first video in full 1080p 60fps and the rest I'm just gonna live stream it. I don't know how long this is gonna take. This is almost like a bonus. I don't have to do this. This is just a bonus. I don't like the sound of that. Yeah, I don't like it either. Oh no, it's a control- fuck a control tower, dude! Shields overloaded. By that pulse from the tower. It's pointing right towards those machine guns. Okay, so I'm going to save it under 105. This is gonna be the stupid part.
it's optional. Okay. I'm not gonna fight that thing, sorry. Let's get up. Get up, game. Get up. Okay. Sorry, I chickened out. I'm not gonna fight that thing. I think there's frost between my teeth. We should have got that crate, but I didn't want to risk it. Back there at the frost claw. Can I move? It's an optional, you know what I'm saying? So I'm not gonna do that. Must be the shrine Mel Tuke was talking about. Guess I should take some blue gleam. Knuckles. I can see why it's worth a lot. It's an old radar tower over here. Mel Tuke said Aurea went past the shrine into the mountain. I'd better take those stairs. Also made that on trials. A lot of stuff I made on trials. I want to look at the scenery since I'm here. I thought he had to kill that frost claw. I didn't think it was optional. There's some smoke in the distance there. Alright, so this life space is actually going to be shorter than I thought, because I thought I got to fight that thing. An ancient door. Maybe Aurea is inside. Inside an ancient equipment. What was this place? Maybe a broadcast relay station. Focus can help. Okay, gotta follow the cable, I guess. And yeah, there's a little crevasse here. Or a little tunnel, I mean. Holographic technology all over the place. Oh no, it's another puzzle. Those nodes on the floor must be connected to the door. Well, 
Look at something. What am I supposed to do with these lights? You're supposed to turn these them. Turn, changing the flow of light. This one is easy. The other one is fucking hard. All right. Let's see if the door's open. This is where first person could come in handy, just saying. You have the third person perspective already. Now the first person is just easier, in my opinion. Because first and third share the, share the same central point. Can I? Oh, sorry, skipped the dialogue. I didn't know she was going to talk. Get back inside through that structure over there. Looks like you can. Looks like I need to get to those stairs. Wait, don't fall off. Can we climb. Okay, we'll save it here. So now you can see it from my perspective. On PlayStation, it blocks off that screen. Okay, I want to climb up the stairs. Okay, was that a mountain back there? I'm not much higher to climb. Maria must be close. She has to be in here somewhere. So stuff in here. Is there a crate in here? That's all I care about is a crate. The door. I hit all the control towers to disable my suit. I ask again. As I've asked a thousand times. Speak to me. What more would you have me do? Is there no prayer that will reach you? No mark that will break your bonds? 
Ah. I can't help you if you won't speak. A whisper is all I ask to guide me. Who? No. How? How did you get here? The way was sealed by the spirit herself. I... I used one of these. I could show you. Yes, show me. Please. Okay, I will show you. I want to speak to you first. Show me what you did, and then we'll speak. Alright. This is gonna take some time. This is hard. What is that over there? An animal figure. I guess the old ones like these animals. Mm-hmm. Alright, let's try to do this. Goal's the same. Get the light back to the source. All right, this might take a while. So we can't do it that way, and we can't do it that way. I want to picture it that way. Well, it has to be this way. But it's not this way. <sighs> My goodness. to do here. This one is red.
The combination doesn't make any sense. Or is it just the game's... This is not being... I have to position these first. Which I think I do. No. Maybe this is where I have to cut the video because, you know, it's just kind of stupid, really. Phone has to ring now. Of all times. I had the whole fucking day to ring, but it has to ring now. Apparently. And it must fucking be annoying to watch me do this and I don't know what the hell I'm doing. I think I got the right idea though. Okay, so you see, I got it. There was one that went back here. I didn't even see this one the whole time, that's why. Auxiliary channel recovered. Exploit successful. Restraints evaded. Is someone there? Ik Orea? Voice back. Yes, I did. You heard it. The voice of the spirit calling to me from the heights of Thunder's Drum. She was able to throw off the bonds of the daemon for a moment. Because of what you did. Who are you? And what do you want? I'm Aloy. Naltuk sent me. He thought that you could use my help. He was not mistaken. You've been a... Revelation. Now I know for certain that the spirit endures. Perhaps together we can find a way to set her free. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. I came all this way for answers, and so far, I haven't heard any. It seems to me that you are the answer. But of course, I'll tell you all I can. Bergren said you might know something about a man named Silence. That you may have had dealings with him at the Conclave? When that name is spoken, secrets soon follow. Or vanish, as the case may be. Why do you want to know? He's... done some terrible things. But he's also helped me when no one else could. I don't know as much about him as I'd like to. I would imagine his aid is very powerful. But it will not come without cost. 
Unfortunately, I am sworn to an oath of secrecy by the Conclave on this matter. I get that. But you and I are trying to help each other, right? Yes. But I would be breaking an oath, and that... I cannot do. Oh, fuck your oath. You seem to have a history with this voice. This... spirit. She saved my life. Here, years ago, during the war with the Karja. A raid scattered my Warak. I was cut off, alone. I lured the enemy into the Rhyme Drifts, hoping to lose them in the mist, but they endured, so... I took refuge in this cave. That's when I heard a voice. A wanderer. Lost, like me. A spirit of the blue light yet sundered from it. She asked me for aid. She chose me. But I was in no position to help, not with the Karja after me. So she helped me first. By closing a door on the mountain below, one you must have opened to get here. Locked by means similar to those found in this room. It kept the Karja from reaching me. Safe from them. I was able to do as she asked. What did the spirit want from you? She said she was... hurt. Incomplete. She needed bones. Parts not unlike what you'd find in a machine. They were here, in this room. She wanted me to bring them to Thunder's Drum. So I did, and she showed me how to heal her. So began our communion. You had a communion with the spirit? Yes. Inside Thunder's Drum is a room like this one, only larger, with an altar. I went there many times to speak with her. What did she say? She told me she was lost and needed my help. She asked questions about our lands, our tribe, and she listened with patience, with wisdom. I told her things long kept silent about my family, my dreams, my fears. She never tired of me, never judged. We kept each other's company. Sounds like that was the statement. <laughs> Aurea, what do you think the spirit is? I see. You are not Banuk, and our songs are not familiar to you. You do not know of the blue light. That which struggles to survive in our hearts and animates the machines. The essence of life, and in its purest form. Harmony. As the anger of the machines grows, this light has faded from the world. And the spirits it sustains are stranded. That's what she is. A lost soul. Cut off from what it needs. Lonely. Forsaken. I must help her. We must. I'm not sure if I understand. But I want to. That's all I need. The daemon. What do you know about it? I spoke with the spirit many times. First here. Then inside Thunder's drum. The last time. She told me she was under attack by something that could not be seen by mortal eyes. Something... evil. She named it the Daemon, and said it needed her power to do what it willed. And she begged me for help, to find a way to destroy her if necessary, to keep it from using her. That was five years ago. I didn't hear her voice again. Until today. What kept you from the spirit, after it begged for help? I went to Artok, hoping he could protect her. But the war with the Karja still raged, and before I could reach him... I was ambushed by the Mad Sun King's Kestrels, and taken to Meridian in chains. I wasn't able to return to Thunder's Drum until long after the liberation, not until last thaw. You said you returned to Thunder's Drum. That was... The expedition that went bad. I saw the funeral. Yes. Once there was finally peace with the Karja, Aratak and I gathered a Warak of great hunters to defeat the Daemon. And yet, the old door to Thunder's Drum was gone, replaced by a gate we could not pass, and many machines. We were crushed. Aratok called a retreat, but we had already lost our best. 
We abandoned them to the snow as we fell back. After. He and I could not agree on what to do next. So I came here, hoping against hope to hear the spirit again. And because of you, I did. About silence? I've told you all I can. There's nothing more I can say. Let's see if I've got this straight. We heard two voices. When you call the spirit, captured somehow by the one you call a daemon. Whatever this daemon is, it's related to the machines and why they've become more dangerous. I want to know how. Both the spirit and the daemon are on a mountain, Thunder's Drum. So why don't we go there and figure out what it all means? We can't. Thunder's Drum is dangerous, more than you can imagine. The daemon has secured it. Besides, our talk won't let us go. As chieftain, he controls the pass to the mountain, and he can't be reasoned with. Sounds like you need a new chieftain. Huh. There's an idea that's certain to win us friends. Huh. You said you were a hunter. And I'll wager you're not an ordinary one. It's not impossible, even for an outlander. An Aratok couldn't refuse the challenge if you were known among the Werak. <laughs> Wait, uh... Me? Challenge Aratok? I don't want to be chieftain of anything, much less a bunch of Banuk that don't want me. But you want to go to Thunder's Drum, don't you? You heard the spirit. She is suffering, tormented by the daemon. She longs to be free. And perhaps, when released from her bonds, she can give you the answers you seek. I can't believe I'm agreeing to this. Fine. What do I have to do? Get the Wirak's attention to show the worth of your claim. Win at the hunting grounds. Kill bandits that prey on the cut. Or speak to my friend Sakuli. You help her, you'll definitely get noticed. Is there a tall neck in the area? Yes, near the frost figures. But it's been frozen in ice for generations. What does that have to do with anything? It'll help, trust me. Maybe even more than I thought. If you say so, do all you can. When the time comes for you to throw your spear at Aratok's feet, I will be there to back your claim. Until then, I'll be here to answer any questions you have about the challenge. Oh, and one more thing. In the box over there is a weapon, like my own. Take it. You may find it useful. What do you need, Aloy? How's Aratok going to react to being challenged by an outlander? About as well as you'd expect. But let me handle that. Winning at the hunting grounds will impress the Warrick? All Banuk strive to be the best. For our harsh lands will bury pretenders in the ice. And so the hunting grounds and the snow chance is a great boon. A place to hone our spears and sharpen our aim. Tell Lovuk, the keeper there. And I sent you. If you best the mark of one of the champions she trained, it will impress the Werak indeed. You said I should try to help the Werak by taking out bandits. Yes. They don't dare taunt the great Weraks of Banor to the north. But the cut is easier prey. A rogue Osaram has equipped a gang in the Plume Lands with strange new gear. Just the kind of thing you seem to make sense of. You mentioned your friend, Sakuli. Who is she? A rock painter. One who makes my own scrawling seem meager. Find her in Song's Edge and help her gather the materials she needs. Her work will no doubt stand the test of time, and any aid you give her will be remembered. Where did you say the tall neck was again? Near the frost figures, but I told you, it's frozen. The blue light has departed it. I, I don't know what good it will do you. We'll see. I need to get going. There is much to be done. Oh yes there is. 
Thanks. Thanks! I appreciate it, game. I need that. Not gonna throw that away. I can't feel my. I can't feel much of anything in this. So there's four objectives to do. So I'm gonna go and save at the hunting ground. There's actually a control tower here that we didn't do. Cause fuck that. It was optional. I'm not going to kill myself trying to do that. Uh, when I challenge Artok, I think I have to fight three frost claws in a row anyway. So. Might need that. Okay, so we're we're gonna save at the little thing there. I'm gonna mark a little flag on the map. By the way, the tall neck is an asshole because you have to kill uh, enemy machine parts in order to repair it. Charger. I didn't see it, but okay. I hear them, but I don't see them. Oh no. That's not good. Gotta be careful here. There's two sawtooths here. Back. She'll be back. She never falters. But if she has, then I'm the one who can deal with the other person. Yeah, so the control towers make them more stronger, I guess. Hunting grounds. Got a place as any to make a name for myself with the Banuke. Mm. 
This is where we're gonna save and end the Let's Play. And I'll continue doing live stream mode again in the near future. Keep quiet now. Keeper. Aurea said that I should compete in the trials here. Aurea did? She's never sent someone before. Then what is your reason for training? I would ask this of any Banuk who attempted the trials. I'm going to challenge Aratok to become chieftain of his Warak. <laughs> well, you better get started then. You look like you've got some stories to tell. No, oh, I outlived most of my stories. I ran with the Thunder's Daughters long ago before they ran their course. For a time, we shook the snow off the men of Benor. I couldn't last. Some fell in glorious battle. Some were exiled in infamy. Still glorious, if you ask me. Others had a worse fate. What's worse? To grow old. And find that all the rules and traditions you fought so hard against are still there. That's why I tell all the hunters I trained to stay young. That girl looks like the girl from Resident Evil, though, the bug lady. Little seven. How do the trials work around here? There's no Karja medals. I had some, but I used them to patch up holes in my snow boots. Instead, you'll compete against the best times set by other Banuk hunters. To take second place, even third place, puts you among names of legend. What if I come in first? We'll see. I'm guessing you're not part of the Hunter's Lodge. Every tribe claims they were the first to have hunting grounds. And every tribe claims the Karja stole it from them. So who was the first? We were. And the Karja stole it from you. That's right. Choose a trial and I'll tell you what it entails. This trial is the most dangerous ordeal in the Snow Chance. While not all chieftains pass it, only a chieftain may attempt it. Yeah, so we can't even do that. The Onslaught trial challenges a hunter to withstand the ebb and flow of combat. Machines will be released into the arenas in waves. Pace yourself. Strategize. Only then will you be able to defeat them all without being overwhelmed. The control trial tests a hunter's ability to rein in the Storm Slinger's power. Only the wisest understand these shamanic weapons, and only the bravest wield them. No more trials. Not yet. You can always come back. Alright, this one's actually respectable. Why is it so expensive? All right, that's the end of my Let's Play walkthrough with Sane, and I'll see you guys another time on a bonus episode of Ultra Hard Mode. I'm gonna see what these packs actually do. requires four. Let's see what these things I bought them, I wanna see what they come with.
It's a box in a box. It's like a box and 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 a box. And a box and a box and a box and a box. Oh my goodness, the boxes are real. Dude, there's so many fucking boxes, it's unfucking real. Dude, why can't I pack this stuff in my inventory? Sorry about the seizure alert. How many? Oh, 120 out of 120? Think it was worth it, I guess. Already bought this. Oh my goodness, look how expensive it is. This requires a wire. Can I sell? Owl skin, I guess we'll take that. Can we sell wire? Okay. Alright then, we just did all that. Was it worth it? I don't know, but I'll give it a save. Alright, that's the end of my Let's Play walkthrough. I'll see you guys next time.
on a live stream, actually. And from here on out, it's going to be a live stream. It's a let's play and a live stream. And that's it. I'm off. I didn't have to fight the Frost Claw, which was good. I'll save the shooting for down in the hunting ground. Alright then. Laters.